Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we're going to be going over a quick combo guide for Tanjiro Kamado Entertainment District style. Um, Entertainment Tanjiro has basically two combo paths that he's going to be taking, and it depends on whether the opponent is on the ground or in the air. If the opponent is on the ground, you're basically going to be doing these firewheel loops, where you just do a few attacks into a firewheel, into a few attacks into a firewheel, and as you see there, that super simple combo did 4000 damage. Um, some people like me to tell them exactly what buttons I'm pressing, so I'll just do that this once, but then I think from here on you should be able to figure it out. So three attack buttons into your tilt special, three attack buttons into your tilt special, and then mash your attack buttons and hold down for the downwards combo. That's a simple combo structure for Tanjiro Kamado. If you learn one thing from this video, that's all you really need. But um, obviously there's a few things you can take from there. If you change the ender, you can change it to... Ooh, it took a while to load. You can do a few hits, firewheel, a few hits, firewheel, and you can sneak in a cheeky grab at the end. If you want to sneak in a little bit of extra damage, that does over 50% of Sabito's life bar, so that's a decent amount of damage. And he's got a decently long knockdown on his grab. And if you do have an ultimate, you want to combo into an ultimate off of this combo, you can very easily do so. And this combo is, um, I really recommend it just because it's so easy to do in like any kind of connection, whether it's laggy or not. Because you just are pressing a few attack buttons into a special, a few attack buttons into a special, and you can really mash out all the buttons and there's no real way to mess it up. You don't need any timing or anything. You just need to be like, oh, I'm hitting the opponent, I'm going to do a combo now. And even if you do accidentally do a few more attacks than you should have, um, it's all good, just make sure you accommodate and you're paying attention to how much um, your combo counter is going down. So see, I did a few too many attacks, but I can still go into the general combo. And if I want to, I can end it early into my DP as a hard knockdown or something. It's gonna it's gonna work out, it's gonna be fine as long as you go into the firewheel, <laughs> it'll be pretty simple. And the next combo paths he has is if the opponent is in the air, and that's gonna be your flame dance routes. So if the opponent either is in the air or gets put in the air, you're going to be going for these flame dance situations. So if I do a few hits to a flame dance, I have to dash cancel it, a few hits into my flame dance, and the aerial flame dance does actually put the opponent in the air. You do have to be careful though, because unfortunately Hinokami Tanjiro, who has lended his regular attacks to Entertainment Tanjiro, has not too good attack strings for a juggled opponent, so you do have to be a little bit careful there. Um, to just... Yeah, be careful when you're doing these loops. They're pretty simple, you know, the aerial version bounces the opponent and then you can do a down combo to end. They are typically going to be your slightly more damaging combo routes, but I would recommend if the opponent is on the ground, just go for your your flame, I mean your firewheel routes, because they're just a lot easier and a lot more consistent. Like, you can spend a lot of meter on these, but they end up just being really expensive, because you need to spend meter to put the opponent into the air and dash cancel after them and then do the flame dance in the air. The only time I really like going for these combos is if the opponent is already put in the air by my flame dance, and there's no real other way you can combo using this character other than to do a bunch more flame dances, and then, yeah, do whatever you want. But uh, yeah, if the opponent is airborne, that's your only real way to combo, because your fire wheel will not combo on airborne opponents. So just make sure you have that in your arsenal if you do get hit on the opponent when they're airborne, but just make sure you try to keep them grounded, because that's where your combos are better. And honestly, that is about it combo-wise for Tanjiro, uh, entertainment style. Um, if you do get combos off of your firewheel, it's just going to be a short little red combo. I recommend just doing a down combo. Keep it simple. Don't spend too much meter on something you're not going to get much damage from. Uh, you can technically like spend a bit more meter if you want to get... You want to end out the round with it, like say the opponent is already low on life, you can do a nice 4000 damage, but um, unless it is going to like KO the opponent for the round, I don't really recommend it. Like I suppose if you can, but it just costs a bunch of meter and ending with your DP takes a while for your meter to get back. And um, obviously the same applies off of your other red combos, just a few hits into a down combo, or you can do a flame dance if you like, just get whatever simple stuff you like, but just yeah. Try to try to not make it too expensive it's, if it's going to be a low damaging combo anyways. Maybe go for a fire wheel into the hard knockdown and see if you can build meter from that. But um, uh, yeah, that's basically it for Entertainment Tanjiro. You've got your grounded combos with your fire wheel loops. And you've got your aerial combos with your fire dance loops. And you can easily combo an ultimate as long as you just do a... 
flame dance into your ultimate, you're gonna get it super easy no matter what kind of situation you're in combo wise, whether it's off a grounded combo or an aerial combo. It's easy as long as you leave just a little bit of time for both of the hits of the flame dance, just mash on the ultimate button and you'll get an ultimate. That's Tanjiro Kamado Entertainment District's combos. They're pretty simple. All you really need to pay attention to is my is my opponent in the air or on the ground. And then you'll be dandy and you'll be all fine. And you've got some great combos and they're hard to mess up. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.